So now let's take an existing character and change it up in Photoshop. So for that, I'm going to take this Chloe character, Photoshop right here. So I'm just going to click on Chloe Photoshop and that, it, then it opens up the artwork just like that. So I'm going to go to Chloe right here on the puppet, right click and then click on edit original as we viewed in previous lessons as well. So it is opening up in Photoshop as you can see. So we're going to change the entire look of the character and see what uh, things you need to keep in mind to make sure that everything is changed out. So this is Chloe. So I want to change out a few things. I want to change the skin tone right here. I want to change the color of the clothing uh, as well. So let's just go around and see different parts. So here's Chloe right here. There's the head just like that. And inside of the head, there's like neutral and mouth shapes and everything. I do not really need to change the mouth shape, but I need to change out the skin tone right here, just like that. So I'm going to go around here. Uh, let's go on to the hair, just like this. So this is the hair, the bang, I want to keep it just like this. This one is okay as well. Hair top right here, I need the hair top uh, because I need her to look good. But I'm going to release these out to give her a different outlook of the cut right over here. There's some eyebrows as well, just like that. So I'm going to leave it as it is. And the left eye, right eye, everything is fine right there. So let's go on to the face background right here. And this is the face itself. So I want to change the skin color tone right here. So in order to change the skin color tone of this character, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to image. I'm going to go to adjustment and levels right here. And, and I'm going to pull this down right here, just like this, to make her brighter, just like this. So 150 is going to be the value. And I'm going to remember that because I have to make the changes in other a portion of the character as well. Once I do that, you can see that the character is much more brighter, but her skin tone for the arms, the neck and the eyes are not matching. So for the eyes, let me just go around and see where the eyes are. So I'm just going to go around onto the lid right here. Yeah, this is the lid and I need to change the skin tone for that one as well. So level, let's go around. This is going to be 150 right there. And I need to go around onto the left eye as well. The lid adjustment uh, and then this is going to be level. So control L is the shortcut key for this. So I'm going to remember that. And there you go. The skin tone has been changed out just like that. Let's just go around over here and see what else we need to change out. So on the right arm, uh, right hand right here, you can see that there's different points of hand and so forth. So there's the sleeve right here. I don't need to change the sleeve, but I need to change the arm right here just like that. So control L and 150 right over here. So 150, you can see that the skin tone has been changed out. Similarly, on to the left arm as well. I'm going to press control L right over here. And then I'm going to go around here and type in 150 just like that as well. All right here and 150 and press OK. So her arms are brighter as you can see right here. And then there's no torso or anything else that needs teens in the color uh, of the tone because like they, they don't show up. So over here in the left hand, you can see right here, there's the points and everything else. So let's, so let's see like what else. So there's the default right over here. And there's pointing as well. So I need to change up all these layers right here, just like this. So I need to go around just like that. And then on the left hand, I need to change this around control L. And this is going to be 150 right over here as well. So I'm changing the character and making it my own right over here. So let's just go around over here, control L. And then let's just go around and say 150, just like this. So I can just keep on saving this out just like that. So it need, uh, needs to change appearance. So that's fine. So let's just go around over here and uh, everything will be updated uh, once I load it up. So that's fine. As you can see, the neck is not going around. And if I were to go to controls, you can see that there's uh, different hand guesses and the blink, which has not been changed and uh, changed yet, as you can see right there. So let's go back into Photoshop right there and find out where the layers are uh, for that one. So you can see right here on the head, that's the all mouth. That's fine. So if I were to go on into mouth, so let's, that's the neutral one. That's us and O's. Everything is there. Hair top is fine. So let's just go around over here 
and find out around her point. So these are different hand guesses as you can see right there. This is one and I guess this is another one. So let me just uh, hide the default. This one is there and this one is there. So we need to change up for both right over here. So let's just go to, uh, let's just select this, control L and 150 is what I need to do for this. So let me just go around 150, just like that, as you can see, control L and 150. Let's, let's just go around over here and type in 150, just like that as well. And the hand color is scenes now, as you can see, just like that. Similarly, I need to do that for the other one as well. So let's just go to point right here. And I'm going to go to unnamed right here, enable that out and go to the uh, point, disable the default, control L, and then I'm going to do 150 over here, just like that. And then I'm going to go over here, control L, 150 over here as well, just like that. So I change that out as well, just like that. So I'm going to disable that out, disable the point out and disable the point out over here as well. But I need to enable the arm so that it actually uh, shows up in my character animator. So I'm just going to save this out right here. Go back. It is going to update right over there. So what did I miss? So I have the points right here, but I don't have the flip just like that. Okay. And two is missing. That is the point. Uh, I disabled the layer right over here. So it is not showing up right here. So those are some of the things that I need to keep in mind. So point, I need to enable these out. Just disable this out right here. Save it press OK, so and go back onto the character animator. So I have to change each and every component as you can see right here, and that is fine. So I need to find the other hands and the blink as well. So let's just go around, find out those layers where it is. So there's a lot of layers right here. So you need a bit of patience to work around with all of them. So now over here, uh, this is the mouth. So mouth is there, and then there's the hair. Hair top is there, left and left eye and right eye, okay. So uh, this is the left hair and the right hair, the right eyebrow, uh, and then what else do I have? The right eyes right here, right eyeball and everything, face, freckles, sleeve, arm, okay. Flip, I guess this is the one, like this is the flip. So I need to go on to the right hand, just like this, and then the left hand as well. So there's the flip on the right hand, Control L, and I'm going to do 150, and then disable that out. So that has been changed out as well. So on the left hand as well, go on to the flip, control L, uh, uh, just enable the layer first, control L, and this is going to be 150, just like this, and disable that out as well. So now that that is done, I need to find the neck as well, just like that. So let me just uh, minimize all of these right here, just like that. Is this on the head? or on the body now. So this is on the body side, just like that. So I'm going to expand this out. And is it in the torso? Yes, it's in the torso right here. Is this the one? Yeah, this is the one right here. This is uh, the layer that I have been working around to get it. So I want to erase this out right here. So I'm just going to go around and then get eraser, erase this thing out right over here, just like that. So I'm just going to press Control Z and then erase this thing just like this, okay? I re erased out the shadow as well as you can see right here. Let me just adjust it just like this, erase out right there, that's fine. So now what else I can do is uh, rem remove out the logo as well. I don't need the logo, okay? So now this character is our own right over here, just like this. So now I'm gonna go over here, image adjustment levels, and this is going to be 150, just like that. And that has been changed out as well. So the skin tone and everything else have been changed out. So if I were to go over here onto uh, the character animator, uh, you'll see the update just like that. And now the only one remaining is the blink. Okay, so let's just find out the blink right over here. So blink is definitely not on the body. So let's just go around over here and then go on to the head. So where is the blink right here? So this is the blink, right blink, and the left blink right over here. So I'm just going to go around, enable both of these for a while, just like that. And I'm going to press Control L again, 150, just like that. Change that out. And then the right blink, Control L. And over here, I'm going to type in 150, just like that. So I'm just going to disable out both the layers. Press Control S to save it out. 
And then if I were to go back right here, it'll be updated out in the character animators window, just like that. Oh, I disabled the body. That's why I, don't, I cannot see the body right there. So if I were to go over here and enable the body out, save it out, press OK. Now that will be updated out over here. So now I'm going to change the color of the clothing right over there. And so now you can see that it looks vastly different than what we started out with. So if I were to go to torso right here and work around with these, uh, just like this. So go around over here and I'm going to change the color. So I'm just going to go to hue and saturation for this. And let's say I'm going to go around into something like green route right here. So minus 125 is the value that I want to work with uh, right there. So let's just go around over here and find out the sleeve right here. Uh, so I'm going to go for hue and saturation so control U is uh, the uh, the color for that one. So let's just go over here, control U, and then minus 125, just like that. And there you go. That is it, as you can see. So now uh, what we have is the torso right over here, just like this. So torso is fine. So I'm just going to go to the pants. Yeah, this is what. So control U, I'm going to change this out into something like on the blue section right over here. I can change around the saturation, uh, make it more darker, just like this, and change around the lightness uh, here as well. Not going to change around too much, but just going to change around just a bit right over here, just like that, as you can see, to give it a bit more bluish look. So let me just change this around into more like blue look right here, as FC is wearing jeans right there. So let's just go over here on to uh, the head. Hair top is here, as you can see right here. On the hair top, there's the lashes. Lashes is fine. The eyebrow is fine right here. And that is fine as well. So let me just go over here. Clip. Okay. So I may want to delete out the clip right here. And there you go. Completely new look onto our character right here. So once I press save, now if I were to go back right here onto character animator, this has been converted out into our own character, just like this. So now, of course, this is rigged out. So we just change around the objects. We can change around the design right over here. But this is all rigged out. And you can start animating this just like this. Right. So over here, all the draggable items right here working fine. You can change around the uh, different sections right here. You can make her blink right over here. You can make her sad just like that. And of course, you can re really make her eyes wide open as well. So all of these things right here like one to three and so forth i can change around uh her arms and then animate her as i wish and that is how you can modify characters in photoshop and make it your own uh from within inside of character animator and photoshop so hope you guys learn something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe